and today I'm here with another wrap up because it's that time of the month. Ooh, not that time of the month. This just got weird. It is time for the bookish time of the month, the September and October. It is time for the September wrap up and October TBR for 2016. Yes, I'm ready. Let's just jump straight into it because why not? So for the hauling this month, I have a lovely do, do, do you see over there? Do you see? Those are some books that I'm gonna haul very soon for you. So I have some books, but like unofficially. So other than that though, that I had already got this month was the one and only Empire of Storms by Sarah J Maas. I read it, I, I'm done, I'm ready to review. I'm not sure really how I feel about it being it being smaller than Queen of Shadows. Like Queen of Shadows is just like a beast and you just love it because you're like, look at how giant this book is. And this one is not as giant, but I really enjoyed this book. I didn't feel as emotional as I have with previous ones. I think Air of Fire is still probably my favorite, but this one was pretty epic as per usual by Sarah. It's crazy how unrecognizable the first two books are in relation to this series now. Like we've come such a long way that I could never ever imagine that we would have got and gone these ways. This book is fabulous. I'm gonna be reviewing it and it should be up eventually. So that's it for the hauling, but it will come up in the red in just a moment. So while I was waiting for Empire of Storms to come out this month, I was finishing off Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. Uh, I really, really, really enjoyed this book. My review for this just went up live and a little recap video for you Crooked Kingdoms people that it's already out. It's out somewhere. Mine is coming from Book Depository. It feels like such a cop out that I'm already like reading the second one when people read this like a year ago and have been waiting. But I enjoyed this book so, so, so much. Like it's on my top favorites list. It was just everything. And I cannot wait for the next one very, very soon. The next book I picked up, I picked it up just before uh, Empire of Storm showed up and then I'm gonna pick it up for the rest of this month and hopefully finish it um, at the end of the month or like a couple days later into October. I'm not really fussed either way. But that is The Magician by Lev Grossman or Grossman. I still don't know which one it is. And I am buddy reading this with one of my friends, Nick, from my Kentucky tour holiday. Uh, so I'm really excited to be doing that. It's gonna be so much fun, like reading chapter by chapter and discussing what's gonna happen. So I'm really looking forward to that. So I had read 20 pages of it and I'm definitely gonna pick it up and read the rest of it hopefully this month as I said. And lastly this month of course I read Empire of Storms as I discussed so I've read you know, like three books this month which is pretty good because this was a hefty book. This took me 15 days to read. October TBRing wise it's all a bit up in the air as per usual. I am going away for two weeks at the end of the month down to Brisbane to do some training for my apprenticeship that I'm doing so I don't know how the reading's gonna go there because I'm gonna be visiting family that live at Gold Coast and such so I'm not sure how much reading I'm gonna do but I have like a, a list of books that I will show you that I'll probably read about two of those at least I, I imagine like I'm not really sure how it's gonna go yet so as I said I'm probably gonna be finishing off the magician in the first little part of the month so hopefully that shouldn't take me too much longer than a couple days into October if it is fabulous enough I might start book two with the magician king also by Lev Grossman I'm not sure it depends on how addicted I am to the series as to if that happens or not or if I decide to keep buddy reading that one is a, a major Maybe. I think a definite for me and it will be in the near future if not this month But I'm really looking forward to reading again Fallen by Lauren Kate I recently watched the uh, trailer for this one and uh, there's also a video that I've done for that So that'll be coming soon But I really want to rewatch it now that there's a movie coming out either at the end of this year or early next year So I read this back in like 2010 so it's been a while So I definitely want to reread it and just like check it out and see like how it's gonna be in relation to the movie. The next two, I again, I'm unsure. I think I want to read The Thousand Floor by Catherine McGee. Oh, spoilers for my book haul. I don't know if I wanna read this one. I think so. It sounds very Gossip Girly and I've been recently watching season six of Gossip Girl again because I recently bought it on DVD because I realized I didn't have it. And I was like, excuse me, I need it. And I'd only watched it once anyway, so it was great. So if I'm feeling really Gossip Girly again, I might pick this one up. I'm, I'm still unsure. And the last one I have here is one that I do really need to read to say that I have completed this series because I feel like that's really important to me and for my stats for the end of the year. I must have finished this series and that last book is Stars Above by Marissa Meyer. It is the like collection of novellas, the ending of the series. I also really want to know who gets married and all those juicy details from the end of winter so I definitely want to try and read this one at some point. It's only shortish. It's only about 370 pages so I feel like I could get this one done so I'm, I'm very unsure what I want to do for this next month, reading-wise. And of course, in October, I shall be reading 
Crooked Kingdoms when I finally get it in the mail. So I definitely will be reading Crooked Kingdoms, uh, The Magician, uh, hopefully Fallen and maybe The Thousand Floor. Who even knows if I can get through that many books. Well, that's it for my September wrap up and October TBR. It's all happening in October. I don't know what's going to happen. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Hopefully I can get through like three or four books that will be fabulous. I'm so behind on my reading challenge. It's not even funny. I'll have to see if I'm going to do any weird October reads for Halloween. I haven't really considered that. I'm not so into that idea because it, it really doesn't affect me at all. I've never celebrated Halloween so I don't really care. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Hello! Oh gosh. Ha! Why? Queen of Shadows. Uh, Queen of Shadows. Damn it! For my September... Oh my god, wait! <laughs> I'm such an idiot!